What's up, family? Welcome to a brand new video, man. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see where we at? We getting loaded. All right, we are not in Florida, so I did head it out of Florida, so we can go to pick up a load. 38 feet, two feet wide. It's like 1,200 pounds. It's paying $2,400 going to Michigan. $2,400 to go 800 miles. It's not bad, it's about $3 a mile. Jade booked this load, and I'm gonna let her know how much it weighs, how long it is, so that way she can try to put something else with it, so that way we can make this a, a decent trip. Simple tarp job, simple strap job, knock it out, put it on the trailer. That's a nice partial. That's a great partial. Fantastic partial. <sighs> I love it when a day like this comes together, man. All right, so the reason the reason for us doing it like this was because this is going to be Jade's first time really partialing out the trailer and I wanted to be able to give her enough space as possible to play with so that way she can load something else up on the trailer so that way we can continue rocking. We're in a position right now to make this week a better week from what it was a couple weeks ago. A dead zone is easy to get yourself into, but getting yourself out is the tricky part. This is about roughly about six feet of space to play with. So that way she can load something here next to this load. She might be able to load multiple pieces, all right? So she might be able to get something here. She might be able to get something here. I want to give her the opportunity to show that what she can do with the partial game. If you can load up your trailer with about $5,000 to $6,000 all going one way, why not? You feel what I'm saying? You know, like when a UPS truck comes, they deliver all these packages throughout the whole neighborhood. It's the same thing. It's a little bit more work. It's a little bit more tedious. It's more work on the dispatchers, more work on the driver but it's more rewarding at the end of the day for both sides, the company and the dispatcher company. Nichiwa. If you don't know what Nichiwa is, then you're not really hot shotting because anybody in Georgia or has come through Georgia, I'm pretty sure you have came to Nichiwa. We got this piece right here to add on to that piece. It's a horrible load, straight up. Horrible, horrible load. Um, I put it right here in the middle because it weighs 4,000 pounds. I wanted to put it up in front because my dad and Jay, they want to see if they can find something else to go with it. But I said, hey man, let me just go ahead and run up the road right quick. Today's Tuesday. Let me run up the road right now. So that way by um, third, or by Wednesday, I could drop this load off and then I could probably recover my week and pick something else up to come back. I'm going to run up the road with this. It is what it is. This one is going to Fargo, North Dakota. The plan is to get up there, drop the Michigan load off first, and then move this one up forward and then find some something else to go with this one going over to North Dakota or going towards that area. It's gonna to be tough. Trust me, this week is gonna be a tough week, but we gotta start off, we gotta start off somewhere. I'm probably gonna be on the road for about another week, uh, for another two two or three weeks, because 
to make up for this week that we're about to have. We know it's going to be a bad week. I have to have another good week and then another good week. Um, I'm hoping it works out that way. It's probably not going to work out that way, but that's the plan. That's the idea. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, man, that's not, that doesn't sound like a really good healthy week. It's not a healthy week. I've heard a lot of guys talking about that they're waiting, um, you know, maybe three or four days before they find a load, then they move. I get it, but the reality of this business, your bills don't stop. So you can wait two, three, four days out the week to wait for that $3,000 load, and now you don't waste it two weeks of your time. You gotta run. Um, I'm not saying take cheap freight, but it's a partial, it's a real small load. We took what we can get, okay? Right now, during this time and age, I'm not saying take cheap freight, man, but I'm definitely saying you gotta, you gotta work what you can work with. You feel what I'm saying? It's tough. Hot shot is tough right now. There's, there's no changing that. There is no making that better right now. It is what it is. The market is what it is. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It is what it is. You're not a semi truck where you can wait for no three, four thousand dollars all the freaking time. You can't. And that's very rare. Then you have to also think who you're competing with. So you got to move what you can move. So our, our motto was always to move with half the trailers paying a dollar and five um, dollar and fifty cents. Okay. So. We have 24 plus 19, which is what, guys? That's three. Carry that one. That's three. I think that's 43. So that's $4,300 going up for 1,800 miles. Like I said, it's not the best load in the world, but it is what it is. So $4,300 for 1,800 miles isn't bad. We're still making our numbers, but the way we're doing it right now, it is what it is. You know what I mean? You can see the trailer's not fully filled up. The load that was supposed to be going with this was another $1,800, but it fell through. Somebody picked it up yesterday, and it's okay. That would have made the week a whole lot better than what it is right now, but it is what it is. It's cool. We not tripping. This week's going to be a bad week. Okay, bear with me. I know you guys are used to being on the channel, seeing a whole bunch of great videos, amazing partials, amazing numbers. Well, come with me as I show you what a bad week looks like in hot shot trucking. Because right now, I got $1.30. I got two dollars up there we're going 1800 miles we're dropping off 4300 dollars it's a bad week today is tuesday i picked up a load monday i'm picking up this load tuesday i gotta go change some tires right now after i do this it's a bad week i'm not gonna get there probably till thursday and i'm not gonna get to fargo north dakota probably until next week so come with me Enjoy the video. If you're brand new, make sure you subscribe. If you like the video so far, hit that like button. If you don't like the video right now, then wait to the middle of the video or the end of the video and make sure you click the like button. I don't care when you click it, as long as you click it. Because it helps me help you, help me, help us. Help me, help you. Feel what I'm saying? All right. So we are finally in route. We're about five minutes away from our first drop, which is in Detroit. I was like right outside of Detroit. I passed the city. I'm going towards Flint almost. And luckily for us, guys, luckily for us, just to be 1,000, like I said, like I said, this week was going to be a bad week, but we could probably try to salvage the week if we work hard enough. So. I drove all day. I, I picked the load around like one o'clock, two o'clock, or was it like 12? It was like 12 or one o'clock. And then I drove my whole time out until I got to about like eight o'clock. And then I think, no, actually, I think I stopped at 10. Yeah, I stopped at 10 last night. So I stopped around 10 o'clock last night. And then I had two hours to drive today. So I got up around, mm, I think it was like around eight or nine o'clock, something like that. And I started driving. So now it is 1 o'clock, 1.52, and we are, in fact, about to drop off our load in a decent time. And we still have time to go drive. So the best part about it is Jay picked up a load, or she booked a load that I believe is in Indiana, so it's going towards my left. Now, remember I said I was starting this week off. I was starting, I was starting this week off, drive 1,800 miles, $4,300. So she's got this load that's on the way. I got to pass by this load to get to Fargo, which is North Dakota. So I know a lot of people always be talking about, man, I don't like doing partials. Or I've heard people say that partials are just a lot. You gotta put pieces here and pieces there. I get it. Jade has never been good at partials, but she's finally learning to book partials. So I took two partials up here. 
One is going all the way to the left, okay? One is going straight up north, which is Michigan. Then we gotta go up to North Dakota, correct? On the way to North Dakota, she booked the load, is paying $2,000 to go to North Dakota from Indiana, okay? So that's gonna add on to the week. So now, I should be able to drop all this off by Friday, which is gonna end the week off with $6,300 for 1,800 miles. That is freaking good. That is freaking good. And that's how you book partials. That's how it's supposed to be done. Now, unfortunately, right now, during this time of, you know, of America, hot shot is a little tough right now. It is a little harder. So you got to do what you got to do. Certain lows, I ain't going to count. Like I said, that's why the, the video is titled what it is. This was not a great week. It was not a great week. We can salvage it, but it was not a great week. And my dad has always told me, he said, man, leaving out of Georgia is tough. He said, leaving out of Georgia is tough. It's tough, but we did it. We did it. We hung in there and we did it. So it's not said and done just yet. We still have to pick up the load and then we can say that we got it done. It's still not said and done just yet. So once we finally have the load on the trailer, we should be good. Today is Wednesday, fellas. If we can get all this stuff on the trailer, which I think is probably gonna happen tomorrow, Thursday, then we can drop off for Friday. Why did you stop pumping? Stop playing with us. We need all the diesel we can get. We pulled up at this travel plaza, as y'all can see. We're in Indiana right now. Uh, we are currently 26 minutes away from our pickup for tomorrow. That's gonna take us to North Dakota. Yeah, like I said earlier, I am proud of Jade. Baby, if you are watching this video, we are proud of you, baby. Because that is how you book lows right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. We are, I'm already, I'm already chopping up this week is a bad week. I'm already saying that this week is over with. I'm saying all that bad stuff already about the week. And here it is, the week is, is salvaged. It's a good week. We're gonna drop our six, $300 this week. 1,800 miles, I know it's a lot of miles. We started off with 4,300 for 1,800 miles. So to get 63 out of 1,800 miles, that's a whole lot better than what we started off with. See how soon we're working with. Yeah, it don't get no better over here in Indiana. So we can get fuel on her too. Bam. Second best part about this trip is $500 in fuel so far. That $500 in fuel gave me 1,100 miles. Man, can we get a round of applause to the Hot Shot Guides, please? Please give us a round of applause to the Hot Shot Guides. 1,100 miles for $500. It don't get no better than that. It, was, it wasn't 500, it was like 458. But I went ahead and rounded it up to 500. But it was like 458 bucks or diesel when we left Atlanta. We are now in Indiana. We went all the way up to um, Detroit, Michigan. And then we came down to Indiana, 26 minutes away from my load. We had to drive 200 miles to get over here. D dude, we're killing the game right now. We are freaking killing the game. And then tomorrow, this fill up is gonna, this fill up is gonna take me all the way to North Dakota. It don't get no better than that. $6,300 and a hot shot on a bad week, people. This was a bad week. This is this is this was supposed to be terrible. I'm I'm like I'm I'm let's say baby like I said again, baby, thank you. All right. At first, you know, I'm gonna say this. When she first started as a dispatcher, man, Jay was, whoo, Jay was Jay was tough. Okay. Jay was having a hard time. All right. But she finally got the groove and she's getting it now. The semi truck she's got down packed. That's easy. Anybody can dispatch a semi truck. That's easy. You feel what I'm saying? But a hot shot. It takes some skill to dispatch a hot spot. Hot spot. <laughs> My bad. It takes some skill to dispatch a hot shot. Keep going hard. Keep doing your thing, girl. 
you're doing your thing. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not gonna be too long. You ain't gotta dispatch this no more. I mean, we already got the two Peter bills. You see what I'm saying? But I'm trying. I'm working on something for this. I'm working on something for y'all. Okay, I'm working on something for y'all. So y'all gotta stay tuned for that, man. Hopefully we get that this year. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. When you see it, you see it. When you know it, you know it. If who knows, you know, you know, we know, we all know. Man, the week's not over yet. We still gotta pick up the load. After we pick up the load, we gotta drive to North Dakota and drop everything off by Friday. I still gotta hustle. You feel what I'm saying? I still gotta hustle. I just wanna give y'all an update, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for my girl. And on top of that, I'm gonna say this though. I'm a little upset with you though, babe. Cause it's cold outside. Everybody else got jackets. It's 52 degrees. And she ain't packed me no jacket. I know y'all probably saying you could have packed your own jacket. Well, when you got a wife like my girl, you know what I'm saying? She usually packs everything for you. She takes care of it because I was out there picking up loads and stuff, getting ready to go. And I came back to the house right quick so I can get my stuff and I can go. She packed up everything for me, but she forgot the jackets. She forgot the jackets. Hey, counting these commas, we run it up. All of these hoes, they won't come with us. Hey, counting these commas, we run it up. All of these hoes, they won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On the pants with Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers mix it up with the lean. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, and she think I'm a geek.